Yali mother to all friends. Hola, mother. Hola, Ali mother. Nemat Saiba, Naveen Saiba. Hola, Ali mother. So Alhamdulillah, we have gathered here to continue our study of Book of Healing, the part which is Qurani Ilaj, and the chapter we are studying is Quranic Medicine and Voice. Today we will start with point seven. So who is reading today? Naila. Ji, Bismillah. Yali Madad, we are studying Book of Healing, chapter Quranic Medicine and Voice. Point number seven, ebook page 60. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. No sooner does an effective medicine of a skillful doctor reach the body of a patient, it starts to show its full effect. By this, it should be understood that it has started to cure the disease by permeating the entire body. As the spiritual doctor regarding the medicine of the Quran says, Allah has revealed the best word in the form of a book, equivocal and repeated, by which to creep the skins of those who fear their Lord. Then their skins and hearts do soften to Allah's remembrance. Surah 39, Ayat 23. The explanation of this divine teaching is that in the human body there are more than 50 trillion cells which are alive and they also die and to each of them are attached countless souls. Thus the cause of the creeping of the skins of those who fear God or their trembling because of the voice of the Quran or the divine remembrance is that each cell of the body and its souls awaken from the sleep of negligence and each particle of the body which is alive trembles due to fear and yearning under the influence of divine remembrance this shows that in this noble verse by skin are meant the living cells it is in the sense of cells that along with the heart, the body can also be engaged in the remembrance of God. Shukr Ali Allah. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. So this is such a wonderful point that it is just beautiful, amazing food for our intellect. That to realize that when we think of ourselves as one person, one being, but in reality, all the different types of cells in our body each one of them there are very many different kinds of cells and we are reading a number which is actually more than 50 trillion cells each cell is actually attached with a soul so how come we have so many souls within our body and we have talked about it that each one of us we just read uh, we just heard Nyla. Nyla is one person. But within that one person, there are trillions and millions and uncountable numbers of cells. Each cell is performing a function. How are those cells performing that function? Our heart is beating. Our um, eyes are functioning so we can see. Our tongue cells are awake, alive, working. That's why we can speak. Our ears are working functioning so we can listen meaning each part of our body which actually is made up of different types of cells is functioning the reason it is functioning because there is a soul which is attached to it because the life of body is due to the soul meaning that there is one soul which is i whose name is whatever our names are but under that i there are trillions of cells who are functioning, working for that I, that one person. All those trillions of cells have souls within it. But the stat status of that soul is called Munjamit. 
in Quran, the word is munjamid. It's like frozen souls. And when we are studying this chapter of Quranic medicine and voice, when we hear a voice which is of zikr or ibadat, uh, zikr or Quran, the way we were reading in the last point, in the point number six, that even though we were to listen to Quranic recitation, we may not understand the language, but because it is word of God, that sound will awaken our being, those souls which are sleeping. Now remember this book was written for Muslim Ummah. So that is why it doesn't mention Ginan. But we are so blessed that if we were to be listening to Ginans or Farmans being read or Quran, whatever we are listening, it is, you know, through our Imam, through our peers Ginans, those words which are full of wisdom and knowledge. When those words go into our ears, because ear is the entry point for spiritual food. When it enters within our being, and those beings which are purified based on taqwa. Taqwa meaning fear of God. So those who have fear of God, those who are ethical, those who keep their being pure, for them those sounds, those voice, when they'll enter into their being, all these souls which are sleeping in our being, they will wake up. When they will wake up, and those mu'minin who are truly connected to true knowledge and doing zikr ibadat with one heart, with purification in their heart, and they are consistently seeking forgiveness and they are wanting to purify themselves, for them, they do experience this vibration in their body. Meaning during the ibadat, they may feel some shakes in their body or during listening to a you know, ilmi class or recitation of zikr, listening to ginan or Quran, there is no reason or time that when this shiver will happen. But whenever that voice which reaches to that soul which is sleeping, and when that soul wakes up, that shiver is being experienced by that momin asali. And you suddenly shiver and you feel like, what just happened? And there is no reason. Some people who don't know and when they look at these momin salikin who at times are shivering pretty consistently because they are in a mehfil where zikr is going on, uh, group zikr is going on with giri auzari. So sometimes there will be very frequent shakes which are experienced. And those who do not have this knowledge, they would say, ah, probably she's cold or he's cold. That's why there's shakes. But in reality, what is happening that whatever zikr and giryazari is going on, due to that, that voice which enters through the ear into the being, which is pure, which is based on taqwa, they are following the ethics, they have fear of God in their heart. What will happen? They will experience the awakening of the soul. Though it could be a small particle, but they will experience. And that shiver, that vibration is actually due to that voice which is being heard. So in this uh, paragraph, we are reading that effective medicine of a skillful doctor, it helps in treating the body. And it takes its full effect when the body receives that medication. And then there is a cure. But for a spiritual doctor, for a spiritual medicine, what Allah has given us, the best word. Here, uh, the, uh, uh, in bracket, Allah Sahib writes the Quran. But we do know what is the Tawili meaning of the word, and that is Isma Azam. So yes, at level of Muslim Ummah, the word of God is Quran. But the Tawil of the word of God, the essence of the word of God is actually Ismayazam. So yes, we also study Quran, we study the Tawil of the Quran, but for us that Paak Kalama, the pure word is actually Ismayazam, the exalted, the supreme name, which Imam himself gives it to us through his 
Mukh Mubarak. And due to that word, due to the recitation in a rightful manner, due to that word, which is recited or practiced only for one hour. But for a moment in Salik who prepares their being throughout the day for 23 hours, definitely they experience different spiritual experiences during the Ibadat time. And one of that experiences actually shakes this Zalzala, as if the whole body is going through kind of quack. Zalzala tari ho gaya. And then it also refers here uh, to chapter 39, verse 23. And the translation is given here in the book that their skins and hearts do soften to Allah's remembrance. So not only that within their heart there is softening, but their skin. Skin is the largest organ in our body. When we hear that voice, our physical body responds to that voice. Why? Because the soul which was sleeping, it wakes up and then there is a shiver. So we are realizing that there are countless souls within our body and they tremble when the name of God is heard through different voices, divine remembrance and what was dead in our body comes to life all those living cells all the cells are functioning they are living but that life is at the physical level what about the spiritual level and we are talking about at the spiritual level that due to the divine remembrance these sleeping souls do wake up and they also participate in doing bandagi and one of the way of us knowing that how this awakening is happening, some may experience this shakes in their body. So, you can understand that when someone is in a prayer, and they have to clean their heart, 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 अपने एम कही है कि एक भाई की बहन हो नाम छे, एक एनी पोता नी ई सोल छे जेने अपने एनु नाम कही है आई कही है कि तब आछो पर एना इलावा पर बदन ना अंदर घना लाखों करोड़ों अरबों खरबों सेल्स छे, अने बदाय सेल्स फंक्शन करी रिया छे, मतलब कि जीवत छे, जीवत के भी रिते छे, के रू छे, पर आपने केम ख जितला जितनी बदी रूह आपड़ा बदन ना अंदर चे ये बदन ना लेवल ऊपर तो फंक्शन करी रही चे काम करी रही चे पर रूह ना लेवल ऊपर सुते ली चे जो जारे बदन ना लेवल पर काम करे चे इतनो मतलब सोचे बदन ये खोराक चीजे खावा नोचे आपड़े मास खाये एनिमल सोल आपड़े वेजिटेबल खाये तो वेजिटेटिव सोल जो अने आपने बदन अंदर ताकत मले ना जितना भी सेल्स चे ये एक्शन करे ये फंक्शन करे अने नो अपने बदन नो काम चाल तूरे आपने दुनिया बाने फंक्शनल लाइफ आपने गुजारता होंगे पर आज सोल जी चे इनु आ मकसद न थी कि खाली आपना पग चे चाले आपनो दिल चे धड़ के आपनो आँख चे जो है क्योंकि ये फंक्शंस � पर जहाँ सुधी सोल ने इन्हीं खोराक नथी मलती तो इस उत्तेली पड़े ली होची बेबान बेख्याल जारे मोमिने साले एवा सारा सारा शब्द होता ना कान ना अंदर ना कहेचे केम के आपरे समझी लिदु गई काले के रूनी ची खोराक चे इ कान थी दाखल खाईचे तो जारे आपरे कुरान सामरी है के गिनान सामरी है के फरमान सामरी है के तो अपना कान ना जरिये थी बदन ना अंदर जितना भी जितनी भी रूह छे ये बद्धी ने खोराक मले छे अने पशी कोई मानस अंदर थी पोते पाक होए इन्हें हमेशा यादगिरी माहौ होए इन्हें चाहना होए कि मने वधारे सारू बनवू छे कोई ना कोई ने दिल न थी दुखावु कोई ने खराब न थी कहवु कोई ने जज न थी करु ये भी चाहना कि आपने कहीं इसमें आजम छे कि जिक्र छे कि कुरान छे कि गिनान छे फरमान छे कोई भी शब्द जा रहे ना काम मा पड़े तो ने झटका आवे 
અને ઝટકા એ વાતની નિશાની છે કે જે સુતેલી રૂહ હતી એ જાગી ગઈ તો આ કુરાન ના અંદર કીધેલું છે કે જે મોમીનો ના દિલ એના નામ થી નરમ થયેલા છે એ લોકો ના અંદર એક ઝલઝલો આવે છે એક શેખ આવે છે અને આ શેખ જે છે ઇબાદત ના અંદર પણ મહેસૂસ થાય ઇબાદત વગર ના ટાઈમ ઉપર મહેસૂસ થાય ક્યારે પણ બી આ એક શેખ એને આવી શકે છે કેમ કે મોમીન ના સાલિક નો જે અંદર ની દુનિયા છે એ એ ઝિકર થી અને મોલાના નામ થી એને જાગરણ માં રાખેલી છે તો જ્યાં સુધી અંદર જાગરણ છે તો એક એક કરીને જેટલા સુતેલી રૂહ છે એ જાગશે અને આપણે ખબર પડશે કે કેવી રીતે જાયગી કે આપણે એક ઝટકો ફીલ થશે અચાનક કે આ શું થયું અને તરત જ આપણે એ ઝટકા નો અહેસાસ થશે તો આપણે તરત શું કરવાનું ડરી નહીં જવાનું ગભરાઈ નહીં જવાનું તરત શુખર કરવાનું જે શુખર કે આ સોલ જીવત થઈ બધી જેટલી બી સોલ છે એ જીવત થાય એવી આપણી ખાઈશ હોવી જોઈએ કે બધી સોલ જે છે એ જીવતી થતી જાય તો એવી રીતે આ એક નિશાની છે તરક્કીની કેની તરક્કીની રૂહાની તરક્કીની કે આપણા બદનના અંદર ઝટકા આપણે મહેસૂસ થાય આ એક નિશાની છે તરક્કીની કેના માટે જે મોમીને સાલેક હંમેશા ઇબાદત બંદગીના અંદર પોતાને રાખે છે પોતાના ખ્યાલાતને પાક રાખે છે રિમેમ્બર કે કોઈ માણસ એક કામ કરે અને એ કહે કે મને સારા સારા ફળ મળે મને ઉપરના સારા જે જન્નતના અંદર જે સારા ફ્રૂટ ફળ છે એ મને મળે મળી નથી શકતા એ બધા ફળ ફ્રૂટ જે મોમીનના માટે છે ક્યારે મળશે કે બધી રીતે પોતાને પાક કરવાનો છે એટલે જ આપણે શરૂમાં જ ચેપ્ટર તકવાને વાંચ્યું તો આપણે તકવા તો હર વખત આપણા દિલ દિમાગના અંદર રાખવાનું છે કેમ કે તકવા જે છે સૌથી પહેલો પગથિયું છે જ્યાં સુધી ખુદાનો ખોફ નહીં હશે એ માણસ ગુના કરશે ખરાબ કામ કરશે સારો માણસના દિલના અંદર તકવા હશે તો પછી તકવાના બાદ આવી રીતે આવા એક્સપીરિયન્સીસ રૂહાની એક્સપીરિયન્સીસ એને થશે જી પોઈન્ટ નંબર એટ આવર બોડીઝ આર મેડ ઓફ બિલિયન્સ ઓફ એક્સ્ટ્રીમલી માઇન્યુટ લિવિંગ સેલ્સ આવર સ્કીન બોન્સ muscles and all other organs are made of these very cells all these small cells which are different in form and magnitude participate with us in all that we do and they work all together unitedly this means that there is not a single part of the human body including the bones which is not full of cells thus When a mu'min reads or listens to someone reciting the Holy Quran, its voice enters the heart and thence the echo of the voice is heard in the cells of the entire body. Now, in the light of material and spiritual science, we will say that no disease, whether physical or spiritual, can escape the, dri- the grip of the voice of the Quran or zikr u ibadat however the prerequisite for this is taqwa or piety subhanallah subhanallah so we have kind of talked about this point already the only new point which is here it's about um, in the light of the material and spiritual science we will say that no disease spiritual or physical would enter into that moment in sal to aya apne aa point na andar actually apne pur vaachi lidu che par ek ch navi vaat che ke jyare koi momine sale aavi rite ibadat bandagi ma rahe che potana taqwa ma rakhe che zikri bandagi ma rakhe che sara sara shabdo ne samde che matlab potane ruhani khorak kharave che to pachi bani nahi saktu ke aa momine andar koi bhi ruhani ke koi bhi badni bimari aave ke ke e to makan ach pakistani no thai gyo પાક મકાન થઈ ગયું તો પાક ના અંદર નૂર આવે પાક મકાન ના અંદર નૂર આવે કોઈ બીમારી કે ગંદગી નો આવે થઈ નથી શકતું આ તો આપણે આ વાત સમજી ગયા છે જી પોઈન્ટ નંબર નાઇન નાવ ઇટ વિલ નોટ બી રોંગ ઇફ વી સે દેટ એવરી ડિઝીઝ હેઝ એ લિવિંગ સોલ ઓઇંગ ટુ ધ ફેક્ટ દેટ ધ હ્યુમન બોડી ઇઝ એ કમ્પેન્ડિયમ ઓફ ઇન્યુબરલ innumerable living cells and their countless souls and no particle of the body is devoid of soul 
It is these souls of disease, which in the language of science are called bacteria. Just as in the Hadith addressing the soul of fever, it is said, O oh fever, if you believe in God, then do not eat the flesh, and do not suck the blood, and do not blaze towards the mouth. Rather, you should go to the one who associates someone else as God, with God, the one. Dime 2, page 40. However, if someone does not believe in this, he cannot observe and experience it. Subhanallah, subhanallah. So it, here it is referring to a hadith, which is very uh, powerful hadith, that when um, someone says to Prophet Muhammad that this uh, child or adult, I do not remember, that this person has been having the fever for so many days and the, all the treatment is being done and the fever is not going down. So Prophet Muhammad prays actually, and he's talking to now fever. Have you ever thought of that, that we can talk to disease? Let's say if someone has high blood pressure or diabetes or any other disease, we would talk to the disease. Have you ever imagined that concept? Now, in order for us to understand that concept, we have to take the example of shaitan. Whenever there is darkness or wherever we see, if imam's name is not taken, meaning there is darkness. If imam's name is not taken, the house can never remain empty, meaning there is shaitan. Similarly, in somebody's body, if there is no health, meaning there is a disease. If health is due to the soul, meaning it's living, disease is also living and has soul. So what we are saying, the way we understand the concept of positive energy and negative energy, there has to be some energy. It cannot be void of any energy. There has to be something. Similarly, in that understanding, in the light of that understanding, we are seeing what we are learning here, that every disease also has a soul. And here in Prophet Hadith, Prophet actually talks to fever. Oh, fever, if you believe in God, disease believing in God, everything has come from Allah. Everything. So fever, if you believe in God, then do not eat the flesh. Literally, he's saying, okay, do not make this person sick. Do not. Leave. Go away. And then Prophet is saying, go to someone who does not believe in God or, do, or you know, does shirk. This is mind-blowing. This concept, this learning is mind-blowing that when someone is sick, actually we can talk to our sickness, that soul which is sick, which has entered our being, any disease, we can talk to them and tell them, go away. You do not need to be here. I am lover of my imam. I believe in imam. You cannot survive in this body. I am going to stay in remembrance. You have to find another house which is full of darkness or sickness. Here, you will only find health, positivity, nourishment, flourishing, you have nothing here. You cannot survive here. But then Prophet says that, uh, Allah Sahib says that this power of being able to talk to diseases and telling them to leave, not needing tablets or medication, just telling them to leave, whatever the psychological trauma or physical pain or any diseases, it can leave our body if we were to have Firm belief. Pakke iman ke saath bolna hai. Now, you know, it is so beautiful that one would say, what do you mean pakke iman ke saath? What is that iman? And we've been talking about iman. That the beginning of iman, yakin ki shuruat jo hai, wo ilm hai. Ye ilm se humko yakin aata hai. Yakin ke maana iman hai. And then, wo darja ba darja badta hai. Even diseases, listen to momine saliki. And moment has that power to tell that sickness, that disease, leave the body. Where are you? Why are you here? You do not belong here. This is the body. This is the temple of my imam. And it is always in remembrance of imam. So who are you and why are you here? Now, on the other hand, do we not see momineen getting sick? They do. For those momineen, 
they do not complain because they understand that this has come as a guest. This disease, this sickness has come as a guest to help that Mu'min and Salik to go through that Riyazat or Ibadat which is needed. Sometimes it is easier to do Ibadat when we are sick. It is easier to do Giriya Zari when we are in pain. When we are happy, when we have no issues, it is very easy to be trapped by Shaitan. Very easy. In reality, In reality, when we are, you know, going through some suffering and pain, it is very easy to focus on ibadat and zikr. So, it is important that it is very easy to point out that the Pagambar is very easy to talk about it, that it is very easy to talk about it, that it is very easy to talk about it, that it is very easy to talk about it, that it is very easy to talk about it. So, it is very easy to talk about it, that it is very easy to talk about it, that it is very easy to talk about it. दुनिया ना अंदर कोई चीज़ ये भी न थी कि जिन्हें अंदर रू न थी तो जितनी भी नेगेटिव चीज़ों चे बीमारियों चे जी आपका बदन में आवेश है ना आपने तकलीफ दे चे ऐना अंदर पर तो रू चे अगर कोई मोमी ने सालिक चे अने ना बदन ना अंदर कोई बीमारी आवेश चे मोमी नहीं बीमारी ने काढ़ी मार ना की सके चे ऐना ज्यादा पाको ईमान नहीं त्यादी आप करिश्मो आ मजिजो कर सकता पर आ मजिजो मोमीन हाथ में रिमेम्बर के अँ इम्पोर्टंट बात ये कि आप जुए थे कि मोमीन ने भी बीमारी आए थे तो मोमीन ने मैं जय बीमारी आए थे तो मोमीन ने खबर हो अरी मदद शू कीधु बीमारी जी है मेरी मदद आई है केम क्या मेहमान एट कि हूँ आनी खेर शू कह अपने तिमेदारी करूँ अने रखवार करूँ इन्हें इन्हें मान पांड दो केवल इतने कि मोमिन समझी जाए चाहे कि मारी इबादत माँ कचास थाई चे मारी तोबा माँ कचास थाई चे अटले अतकली पटले अब बीमारी आई भी चे अने हवे मने बोझ वधारे जिकर इबादत करूँ चे बदन अंदर जारे दर्द होए तकलीफ होए तो इबादत आसान थाई जाए गिरियाजारी � कि मोमिन ना ने आ इल्म छे क्या बीमारी अटले आई भी छे कि हमारा थी रियाजत माँ कमी रही गई थी तो मने वधारे रियाजत अने वधारे इबादत नहीं जरूरत था थी अटले हमारा पास आ बीमारी आई भी छे तो ये कोई कंप्लेन नहीं कर से कोई घड़ी घड़ी बात रिपीट नहीं कर से शुक्र कर से अने इने मेहमान जेम क्योंकि अगर रियाजत में कचासती रियाजत पाकी थे कि सही थे क्यों तो ये पूरु थे क्यों अने बच्ची मेहमान वही हो जाते तो किवी ईमान नहीं किवी अजीब व गरीब निशानी चे कि मोमिन ना माटे जहाँ एल्म थी मोमिन पोता नहीं जिंदगी ने पोता नहीं लाइफ ने जो बचे तो कोई चीज ना अंदर गलती के आपने कहने खराबी के इन्हें कोई तकलीफ अच्छी नहीं हुई, तो आ एक बहुत ब्यूटीफुल आपने एक चीज समझी कि आपने जहाँ सुधी जीवन छी हैं, त्यहाँ सुधी आपने समझो पढ़ से कि आपना बदन ना अंदर सेहत छे, हेल्थ छे, तो भी सोल थी छे, बीमारी छे, तो बीमारी पर सोल थी छे, तो जरे बीमार नहीं सोल आई भी छे, तो आपने ने कोई आपने रियाजत में कोई कमी न थी आपने इबादत में कोई कमी न थी आपने तकवा में कहीं कचास न थी यानी कोई बीमारी आवे तो यानी कान पकड़ी ने बदन थी काढ़ी नाक पाना यानी केवलों के भाई तू निकल तारी जरूरत न थी मारो जो वो कोई गरीब हो इबादत में काचो हो तो कैसे कि भाई ठीक चे मेहमान तो आ आप रे आईडेंटिफाई करवाना होती है कि कितनी बीमारी होती है, बीमारी के भी रहते हैं आवेश हैं ना आप रे के भी रहते हैं हीलिंग मरे चाहे। तो आ सुन बात थरी चाहे कि वॉइस कि जितनी आवाज थी आवाज थी जी चाहे ये आपने रूहानी खोराक पोता ने खराब नहीं चाहे 
પોતાને રૂહાની ખરાબ ખરાવવાની છે અને પછી પોતાને તંદુરસ્તીમાં લઈને આવવાનું છે તંદુરસ્તીની ડેફિનેશન મોમિનના માટે જે છે એ બહુ ડિફરન્ટ છે તંદુરસ્તીની ડેફિનેશન મોમિનના માટે જે છે એને એલ્મ છે એને સમજ છે એને અક્કલ છે એક આમ માણસના માટે તંદુરસ્તીની ડેફિનેશન એ હશે કે કોઈ બીમારી નથી પણ મોમિનના માટે બીમારી એ છે કે જ્યાં ખુદાનું નામ નથી જ્યાં ઈમાનમાં કચાસ છે જ્યાં ઇબાદતમાં ગિર્યાઝારીમાં કચાસ છે એ બીમારી છે અને જ્યારે કચાસ છે અને દુનિયા બાને ફિઝિકલ બીમારી આવે તો એ મોમિન પછી શિકાયત નથી કરતો કેમ કે સમજી જાય છે કે અરે મારાથી કચાસ થઈ છે ને તો મોલાએ મારા માટે મદદ મોકલે છે તો આ બહુ જ બહુ જ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ પોઈન્ટ આપણે આજે શીખ્યો જી પોઈન્ટ નંબર ટેન નાઉ કીપિંગ ઇન વ્યુ ધી એક્ઝામ્પલ્સ ઓફ મટીરિયલ સાયન્સ ઇટ ઇઝ નેસેસરી ટુ પે મોર એન્ડ મોર અટેન્શન ટુ સ્પિરિચ્યુઅલ સાયન્સ નેમલી કુરાનિક સાયન્સ ફોર ઇન્સ્ટન્સ યુ સી દેટ નાઉ ઇટ ઇઝ એવરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ ઇવેન્ટ ઇઝ પ્રિઝર્વ બાય ફિલ્મિંગ ઇટ સો દેટ વન ઇટ ઇઝ નીડેડ it may be shown on television without any increase or decrease thus in the light of the quran it is my belief that the record of deeds belong not only to individuals but also to every nation and every community see verse surah 45 ayat 28 thus from the beginning to the end the records of deeds of all communities and their revealed books are preserved in the form of the film of spirituality and the scattered book surah 17 ayat 13 for instance how the torah was revealed what were the states of its revelation and how did the community of hazrat musa in their national life act upon the heavenly code of life all this is completely recorded in the collective record of the deeds of the jews subhanallah subhanallah so who's going to read this two translation quranic verse jasmine you are here today yes i am with that i can do it um chapter 45 Uh, verse 28 bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim and you will you will see every nation bow, bowing the knee every nation will be called to its record this day you shall be recompensed for all that you did in chapter 17 verse 13 every man's fate we have fastened on his own neck on the day of judgment we shall bring out for him a scroll which he will see spread open subhanallah subhanallah thank you so both are talking about the book of deeds so in this actually what we are seeing that the way we been talking about one individual and within one individual there are trillions of souls right and every individual has their book of deeds all the records of their deeds are kept sometimes we think that it is about me and me only but in reality the book of deeds actually is of nation as well if you we were to review chapter 17 verse 71 it says that every nation will be called with their imam and imams are present in every point in time so in every nation the book of deeds of the whole nation is actually brought in front at that time on the day of judgment and in this paragraph we uh, alama sahib is giving us the example of azad musa alaihi salam when the torah was revealed the book of record of the whole nation will be brought forward meaning here what we are learning that though we are talking about each individual within each individual there are trillions of souls and we are talking about health of those souls awakening those souls and performing good deeds have taqwa 
but then it is not limited to just one individual the combined book of deeds will also be presented meaning you know in the beginning yes i say charity begins from home you one has to take care of themselves if you are healthy then you can help somebody else become healthy similarly when we are capable in any possible means we have to serve our jamaat we have to serve our nation today we have to serve the global humanity if we are able to why not meaning what we are saying that though we are each individuals millions and trillions in this world but in reality right now everybody is connected to shakari if they accept it or not but everybody's book of deeds is going to be presented on the day of judgment with shakari because shakari is the imam he is the imam of the humanity he is the imam of the ismaili jamaat imam un nas and imam un muttaqi and very interestingly in today's time we have this uh, you know uh, movies made and when movies are made all the uh, record of that event is now you know, realistic tv reality tv or news or whatever when the films are made that if event is preserved that record is kept in the library that this event did take place similarly in ruhaniyat the book of the deeds of the whole nation all ummah all global humanity will be kept so what is and how is it related to us here it is related in the sense that when we are learning about healing we have to realize that though we think of ourselves as one soul but actually each soul is connected to the main soul which is universal soul now we may think of ourselves oh we are smileys we are with imam and imam is universal soul yes it is true but imam is the imam of the whole humanity and each individual is connected to imam yes those who follow or fulfill the criteria the conditions they will become in realization of the higher i which is actually universal soul so here we are learning with two quranic verses that on the day of judgment the book of deed of the whole nation will be brought forward so at our level today how do we understand that when we are in our jamaat how are we behaving when our when we are in our group how are we learning how are we growing how are we helping each other how are we uh, thinking praying for each other what is our attitude what is our behavior all those thoughts and actions actually are being recorded in our book of deed and when we have you know sincerity selflessness service uh, emo, uh, intentions of service for jamaat for community for umma for global humanity and we are intending to do that all those intentions actions behaviors are recorded in the book of deeds and the combined book of deed which is like a film is been recorded every thought of ours every action of ours is recorded and it will be brought forward on that day so this material science gives us the example it gives us that you know imagination that today if some event happened we can look at that event after 100 years what had happened to you know uh, so and so country and we are able to see and review and talk about it discuss it similarly this material science has given this idea to us that in our spirituality all the spiritual progress all our thoughts intentions and actions are being saved and it will be shown to us so when what we are saying that when a mu'min is salih becomes mindful of his or her actions and wanting to heal themselves to progress to have taqwa but then it is not limited to one individual how are we able to share that uh, goodness of our heart 
how are we able to spread the love to the jamaat to the community to the nation to the global humanity because everybody is together when the book of deed will be presented today when prince rahim prince hussain is talking about uh, our environment our planet and we have to control the waste and uh, prince hussain said that if we can eat if we do not eat meat you know or limit eating meat it would help our planet so much are we thinking of our planet which is living it has a soul because everything has a soul are we thinking of all those countries which are more affected due to global warming so this is just one example what what we are trying to understand that this material science has given us this understanding that how the uh, events are preserved in filming by filming or in movies similarly all our actions deeds thoughts are preserved so we have to be very truly conscientious very careful how we think how we do whatever we do so our book of do deeds is pretty it's not bad it's not you know self centered in the beginning yes charity begins from home but eventually we have to be able to serve the jamaat our community our country and the global humanity whenever we have the capacity capability why not we should be doing that so i think we'll let's stop here and inshallah we will start uh, from point 11 next wednesday so if friends have any questions ji navin sahiba subhanallah subhanallah it is amazing to think that you know when we were young we used to think that there are two angels writing all of the things we're doing good and bad how will they keep track of our bad so you know it's a great understanding that as technology has changed as you know the physical world has grown so much so is the spiritual world so you know it's amazing learning when you think of it like that so um it was beautiful so may i add something navin sahiba what sure. you are saying uh the spiritual world was always existence there is it was always present but what has happened due to the material growth we have been given this uh, uh ways of being able to imagine and think that all these are actually examples of whatever is already being existent in the spiritual world in essence all this is this was already existing all the technology all the progress what we are seeing today it is because of the mercy of imam during the time of qiyama that we are people are able to discover not they not that it was not existing it was always existing quran has been here for 1400 years but it has taken us that long time to come up with filming so we could understand how these book of deeds were kept for nations after nations years after years imagine all these natiks who have come and gone all those movies are kept safe and it will be brought forward during the day of judgment so due to the progress of the physical world we are able to understand how it would happen ji it's mercy of maula that people like me who don't understand so much so at least we get the imagination that you know all of these things are happening in spirituality ya maula give me those inner eyes i want to see everything today and now so inshallah we pray that we can see all of this through at least at the beginning ilm al yaqeen level so thank you for growing our attention um that beautiful point uh friends if you have any questions any comments um, you can unmute and um, come forward um so the, this is bear the question i have is if you are part of a community or part of a nation and and in individuals are not always strong right so you can have leadership you can leaders who who commit who through their policies their actions um people suffer but you as an individual sometimes cannot change that course 
and you're part of that community or part of the nation, then what happens? And the reason why I bring this up is, uh, you know, I mean, Saju had written a book on the Ark of Noah. He's a legal scholar. And um, at that time in Canada, this is quite a few years ago, there was a case in Saskatchewan where um, a father had a very disabled child for a very, very long time. And I think medical technology had kept this child alive. And finally, he made some choices where she died. And it was actually a very difficult case, even when it went to the level of the Supreme Court, because this case was a case where errors are made and there was no support given to the father. And I brought that case up with, I mean, and I said, is there no mercy for the for the father in this case? And he, he walked, in the end, he had a very short prison sentence. Um, and Prof, and Amin Saji gave me an example of, um, he said during the time of the prophet, um, there was a really bad situation in a community. And um, one of the child of a family had passed and it was under very difficult circumstances. And so he went there and he talked to the whole community, including the leaders. And in that situation, he found that that family did not sin. The community failed that family. And I was so heartened to hear that because sometimes people suffer because the community doesn't step forward. Um, so I'm just curious. I mean, in ess essence, what you just talked about speaks to that. But in that situation, what can we, sometimes we feel powerless as individuals, right? In a situation like that. So the simple answer is that we do have power until we don't know, we remain hopeless, thinking I'm alone, what can I do? Each individual has the power, has the choice to make and come forward. When we are alone, it may have less impact, but we do have an impact. No matter how minor or small it is, it doesn't matter. But even if one person supports the person who is in a problem, you know, one is lonely two is millions have you heard of that kind of saying that one is alone there is nobody with you but if there's just one person with you you can conquer the world uh, so it is at times hard to see the power which lies within us but an individual also can bring change for that we need that courage that's why we do the zikr right himmat and yari that we need that courage to stand alone um, and do uh, promote that change which you are working for there are very many stories i mean you quoted a negative story there are very many positive stories to where one individual has brought change and they were able to do that in the beginning they were alone and went through hardships but eventually like-minded friends would come forward and join you and then you are able to do more than you had ever imagined so yes both the scenarios are pres present in our you know worldly life we can if you were to do research we'll find that but the question here is that if we are those awakened human beings you know even physically having this civic duty sense in our mind in our heart we would support the positivity similarly at the spiritual level that we start spiritually first helping ourselves. And then when we are with some, you know, ability, some, some richness, then we don't keep that treasure or knowledge or whatever it is with us, we share with the Jamaat. So all can move uh, forward and gain from it. So it is, I think it is a matter of individual choice. We do have power. Individuals have historically made changes and they are able to do that. I, I agree with, so your answer, you know, responds to the individual, but I, I guess this is a broader question of communities fail, right? And that a community can sin too, not just yes. individual, yeah. but a community can sin. And mm -hmm. I think what you just, what we just read in the book of healing is that's why 
is the preservation of communities and nations. Yes. So I guess in that in that question, ultimately, there are still individuals within that nation that are the biggest perpetrators. True, and so right. I'm hearing you correctly. I guess you as an individual, if you feel aware of it, then at least you can make some contribution, but yes. you may not be able to turn the situation around because there are people at a higher level who have authority who are the biggest perpetrators. But the whole yes. community suffers with them. Is that, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but keeping with what we are learning, because you stood up, even though you were individual, the book of deeds will be written that you did take the action on the behalf of that suffering family or the community. And that's what we need to learn to be responsible for, become responsible, that even we have a tiny voice, we do need to speak up and do not stand quiet when there is wrong going on. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I'm not meaning to bring out a negative story, but that is the reality in this world yeah. today. You're right. And, it, and I think what he was trying to tell me, I mean, Saju, is that even during the time of the prophet, situations of this nature came up. And there was an education that in a community, everybody has a role to play. Sometimes you may see an individual or family struggling and say, well, it's their problem. It's not mine. And I think the message there through this uh, hadith was that the community has a role to play in other people's suffering as well. True. I agree. Okay, thanks. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. There's one, uh, you know, point when Shabira was saying came to my mind. There is Mawla Ali saying there is, if I do good, it is for me. If I do bad, that is for me as well. Because, you know, whatever we're doing in a, even a community situation, it affects as an individual, what did we do? Did we play our role or not? So um, amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Um, any other questions or any other comment? Um, you can unmute and come forward. Even if you feel like that you do want to share and something you want to share it, you can always share it directly in the chat to Nyamataba. But, you know, this is one of the most important thing that if we experience something, sometimes we don't understand. And, you know, it's good to ask. Did they, you know, want to say anything which they understood or they learned from the class or maybe one point which resonated with you, you can come forward. Shabira, are you saying something? Yeah, I just wanted to say that whole discussion on diseases that the Prophet's hadith was just spectacular. I mean, it was so powerful. I had never ever thought of um, the disease souls within your own being um, that comes in a form of illness. I know Molana Sultan Muhammad Shah says that it, it, you know, there's a firman, I paraphrase it, where he says that um, when illness comes to a moment, then your sins are being forgiven. Um, but the, the power of prayers, and I mean, that was just, uh, it was so heartwarming that we, we have this barakat through our tasbih and prayer to ask for the disease to leave us and that we have a role to play. I, I was just like wow by it. So that was really great knowledge for me to have. So thank you for that. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah, beautiful point. Any other comments? It was amazing for me to hear that we sh we can talk to our diseases. You know, every single thing is, is, is alive within us and outside us. So thank you so much for a wonderful session, Yamat Saiba. Thank you, friends. Yali Madad. Thank you, Yali Madad. 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 Y
कैसे आप ठीक हो ठीक है मौला दुआ है ना यू लुक प्रेटी टुडे एज ऑलवेज जॉब से सीधा बैठी हुई हूं एज ऑलवेज थैंक यू हां लग रहा है लगा मुझे दैट्स व्हाट आई थिंक बट शुक्र मौला यही तो आपकी एक पर ग्रेस है मौला की कि आप लगते नहीं हो जरा भी थके हुए शुक्र लिए ऑल डी टू योर प्रेयर्स I know this is what I get inspiration from you all the time. You know, you are my motivation. Shukr Allah, Shukr Allah, Shukr Shukr. Yali madad, Yali madad, Yali madad. Yali madad, friends, Yali madad.